the planet is going from the third dimension to the fifth dimension. It simply means you're going from kindergarten to advanced degrees, no, to college and universities. Mm -hmm. You skip middle school and high school. <laughs> if you do that, then you are supposed to have a little bit more knowledge, which is supposed to be leading toward wisdom and a little bit more perfect than when you were as a child. When the old thing, when I was a child, I spoke to a child, I was a child, I was a child, I became a man or a person in consciousness, I put away childish things. The planet is putting away childish things, it's begged for it, it's asked for help, and that help has now been granted. The planet has been allowed to go from the third to the fifth dimension. On the fifth dimension, they don't war. On the fifth dimension, they don't have a lot of evil negative things. On the fifth dimension, they can travel in mind any way they want to go. On the fifth dimension, they create as they go if they want, or they understand whatever they create, they're responsible for it, so they don't use creative energy silly, mm -hmm. like we do. We throw away our sperm, we throw away our egg, we throw away our energies, we throw away our mind, we throw away everything on drugs. You cannot make the mistake on the fifth dimension because you won't remember how to do it. You had to relearn and recall how to continue to do the stupidity and this ignorance that we practice here. That will be taken away. But it will be taken away because now you're willing to have that being done. We have now, say and choose my words carefully, two sons. I always say, well, some people have three daughters. <laughs> but I mean son with S-U-N. Our planet needs magnetism. It is magnetic energy that was interfered with when the moon was steered into to do this. This is what the draconic forces did. Under the moon, things don't go right. In fact, original sin was the moon. That was the name of it. Sin. It's called in sin. Later on, the natives here called it Luna. And of course, from Luna, you get the word lunatic. It meant that any time that generating thing that was called a moon was in place, it changed the frequency to electrical. Electrical is not what you need. There are three types of energy that a planet under a sun can utilize. Each one will decree what will be born on it and what will happen to it. Org energy is the highest one under the sun. Org means organic, orgasm, organism, original. It is org. It is from the creator. It is the highest form of energy of a planet to use under the sun. Step down from that is magnetism. Three forms. North, south, and no. Or polarities. The no in there is where all these wonderful ships operate on that people don't believe in again because it nullifies everything else. And in the null void, you can go to higher or lower. The magnetism has a higher frequency and a lower frequency. Beneath that is electricity. We're not only now operating on one of the highest, the lowest principles to still operate on, but the lowest part of that, extra low frequency. I have a tape out called Elves. Not Elves are killing it. Extra low frequency, Elf waves, not Elves, these what they call gnomes and trolls and things like that in the inner world are killing you. Extra low frequency can give you nothing of value. It takes everything of life force from you. I have a presentation while in town. I hope I can even give it. We'll find out called life force. Once you get to that kind of operative level, you're so low in frequency that everything that's a higher plane almost you forget or you can't even channel to handle. To get that done, the earth Start crying out and say, enough. I've gone through this. Earth is a being. By the way, a planet is a life form just like you. Like, like life forms live within and on you, you live within and on this earth. This planet got help from the creator, from the creator gods, from the universal prime creator, and was given the dispensation to have a second son be brought in here. And the second one son is now brought in here. Uh, I don't know when this tape will be shown, but Tomorrow, as I speak to it, I'll be getting into that even more so uh, in a lecture that I'm giving. Thanks to you, brothers, for bringing me in. But on this frequency of Earth, the magnetism is what was asked for and given. So another sun came in. It was first seen. It was seen about 2002. It actually came in in 1999. That's when he started this big diversion, which they now call the, the wars that were fought because of supposed 911, another big tragedy that never should have been, really didn't happen the way it was, was just to happen anyway. But from that, it was seen at that time, but people didn't believe what they're seeing because they were distracted. Since that time, 
it has ceased to exist. It ceased to exist now on a magnetic plane, and not everybody can see that. There's certain little tricks that you can do to see it, which I'm not going to give on this day, but there's certain ways you can even see it, or you can photograph it. Normally, we don't see it because the frequency is of a higher magnetic order. From time to time, under certain things that they've done to our Earth through chemtrails, you get a glance of it. But the energies you can feel. Magnetic energy is restorative, balancing, healing, helpful, positive. That energy now is flowing throughout our planet and is causing people to be restored, to be balanced, to begin to think deeper, to be more spiritual. Electricity is what they're putting up with these towers. And that's one of the things I talk about, the towers of terror. These towers where we started our whole conversation earlier, thank you, Brother Rich, that are causing the frequency of Earth to remain low and trying to stop it from going high. That's why they have to have so many, because they're now not only fighting this, the planet, they're fighting the second sun. They're fighting a planet who says, our time is come. They're fighting a planet. If you are a tenant in a building, you tear up the electricity, you tear up the plumbing, you break the gas pipes, you make you deface and mar that, you curse, you scream, you affect your neighbors, and you do not own the building, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you're going to be discharged. We're getting discharges now. Mm. The landlord is coming back to clean mm. the planet. You didn't own the plane, you broke your lease, no time for it. And not only that, but there's going to be original refurbishing of this particular building and you're not fit to live in it. Therefore, you're going to see mass steps now. It's going to hurt. You're going to see people leaving here so fast and all kind of weak. Because once you cannot synchronize the vibrations of your molecular structure and body with that of the planet, your physical body cannot exist. Your soul wants to get away anyway. Any excuse, you just gave it one. I'll tell the brothers and sisters or whoever, whatever race they think they're in, if they have so, hear these words. You cannot do pharmaceutical drugs if you have melanin. And the better your grade of melanin, the stronger your vibration of melanin, you can't even play with it. You play with it, you die or get sick. Because death is dis-ease. Dis-ease is, is imbalance in the magnetic field. Easement is when, it's like an easement you take property with. This easement it's when you get one out of mind. Our planet seeks balance. You must seek balance. And you cannot get balance through pharmaceutical drugs. You are herbalist. You do seeds. You use roots. You use leaves. You use sunshine. You get natural fermentation. When you do the drugs, and if you notice now on these co commercials and advertisements, they'll tell you to use this particular drug to get this results. And then in the background, it takes them a whole two minutes to tell you all the side effects that are happening. Yeah. They're telling you the truth. But even so, if you're already doing the drug, you will not hear the truth because you're living a lie. When you live a lie, you will hear the lie. Your vibrations are what you create within your mind. Now, you must go back to natural. You must use focused thought. You must use magnets. You must use gold. You must use diodes to block these other things to give yourself a chance to even get the power in you to pull down the higher resources. We have a second sun, it's magnetic. Our planet is more and more becoming magnetic each day. That's why the poles are melting, everything materialistic is dissolving. But you can get through that if you can raise your vibrations to match that of your planet. If you follow the false teachers, the false drugs, the false methodology, and the falsity that is theirs, you will stay there captive. But worse than that, they even vamp you. If you will stop it, they will not be able to even touch you. You cause too much offensive, and what they'll have to do, they have to send your own kind to get you, because they can't. And they have many readily people that come as soldiers and police and everything else and take you out, even when they can't. So you never see them, because they work on the middle thing. When you see them, they will now be transforming. And that's what the ice and so are trying to tell you now. They now will not be able to hide their shape any longer, because the magnetic field will make them not possible. They can't live on the fifth dimension. A quickened soul can.